Good guys, it's your boy PTA Nation, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Dwight Howard and the Lakers. We know that he was recently, um, uh, and the, him and the Lakers have recently gained interest. The Lakers have gained interest because of the injury of DeMarcus Cousins. He has torn his ACL and is out for the rest of the season. I feel bad for DeMarcus I really do. That's sad, man. He was one of the best centers in the NBA before all of this, all these injuries. But enough with DeMarcus. We're talking about Dwight Howard here. Do I think he would fit with the Lakers? Yes and no. Um, there's pros and cons to getting him. Uh, the pros to getting him is he is a very good rebounder and he's a good scorer. I think in about 25 minutes, I think that's where they're going to play him because they're going to have to use JaVel McGee and him to their best ability. Because I don't think JaVel McGee can play all, like, you know, like 40 minutes a game, you know. Like, they need a backup center, of course. But Dwight Howard will be a guy that's going to relieve um, JaVel McGee or come off the bench. Uh, JaVel McGee will come off the bench. But to be fair, I think Dwight Howard will be coming off the bench. And all the Lakers are going to ask him to do is at least give them 13 points and 9 rebounds or 13 and 10. In my opinion, I think that's what they should do. Dwight Howard is was one of the best centers in the NBA at one point. In um, the NBA at one point. But, you know, Dwight Howard, as age goes on, people get, um, you know, people get their game goes down, you know, with injuries. But the thing with Dwight Howard, in my opinion, is I think if he goes to this Lakers, we all know he was on the Lakers previously um, when Kobe was there. But again, he had some, uh, you know, he was coming off an injury that year and he got a lot of criticism, even though he did pretty well. I think he averaged 18 and 10. I'm not 100 percent sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Dwight Howard was coming off an injury that season and he went with the Lakers. He got criticized pretty bad, but, you know. It's a new, it's uh, you know, it's a new start for him. I think if he goes in the Lakers, he has a great opportunity to win a ring. He has a great opportunity to prove himself to a lot of people that are saying he won't fit and that he won't be a good piece to this uh, Laker team. Um, but I think he'll be pretty good. I think my prediction for him, I think he'll average about uh, thirteen points. Realistically, maybe if he comes off the bench and sometimes he starts. I say 13 points, 10 rebounds, and about two assists a game. And I'll even put in a one, like uh, maybe one and a half blocks a game. I, I can see him doing that. Dwight Howard's very capable of it at this stage. But there is cons to signing Dwight Howard. Another, wait, before I say the cons, another pro uh, is um, another, like, he will probably get a cheap contract i want to see the lakers like i don't know if they have space but he's gonna get a cheap contract for sure but i don't think dwight howard would mind because he hasn't played basketball in about uh, a whole season from now and he's not gonna want to have to sit out or play on a you know another team i think he would like this opportunity i think he did state that he doesn't he would you know he doesn't mind playing with the lakers uh, once again and my, in my opinion, the only con I have with Dwight Howard is his, his injuries. You know, he what he played, he didn't play all last season. I think he only played like nine games and he was injured. And that's my only problem with Dwight. But when he was on Charlotte, he was a beast, man. You know, like he was playing good basketball. So I, I think the only thing, the only risk factor, in my opinion, for this Lakers squad is they need Dwight Howard to be healthy. And if they can get a healthy Dwight Howard, why not go for it? You know, there's other players like Joki Noah and other guys. I think I've seen uh, Nene or Kenneth Farid. I'm not too sure. One of those two or both. I think Dwight Howard is the best that you can get out of them. I think he's your best bet. Um, and, you know, a lot of people might say he's not the best fit for the Lakers. But I think playing with a guy like LeBron James will benefit him a lot. And I think he'll be solid for the Lakers. However, they, he has to think this over. A lot of, he, you know, playing with LeBron James should boost his confidence and should, you know, 
he should think in another way that, you know, we have a chance to win a championship here. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know. Do you think Dwight Howard should sign with the Lakers? Because, we you know, or should he, you know, sign somewhere else? Let me know if you think he'll be a good fit for this team. I do think he'll be a good fit for this team, but I think if he... If he, you know, if he's only if he's healthy, right? If if Dwight Howard is healthy, I think this will be a good pickup. You know, it's Dwight Howard, man. You know, at one point he was one of the best centers. I still think he's capable of doing pretty good um, and putting up pretty good stats. So, anyways, guys, it's been your boy PTA Nation, and I'm out. Peace.